Welcome. I'm ABOG51, and uh, this is my new YouTube channel, Time to Tinker. Um, we're bringing this to you um, kind of as an information um, channel, some entertainment, stuff like that. I don't know how entertaining we really are here, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. We, uh, we do a lot of things around here, and basically they're hobbies of mine. Um, I've worked in the automotive industry all my life and picked up a lot of, uh, a lot of knowledge along the way that hopefully I can share to some folks and uh, if it helps you out, great. Um, if not, then hopefully it'll at least be something enjoyable for you to you know, tune into and watch as we progress along. We get little projects going on and uh, we'll kind of take you through them as we go. And you know, everything that's going to be put out here is, is a lot is my way of doing things and it's my opinions of the way things that should be done. Not everybody's going to agree with me. Um, nothing wrong with that. Um, one of the main objectives of this is I'm going to kind of throw out what I think, um, how I do things, and I'm really like some feedback. Not everybody agrees with everybody. Everybody has something that they're good at, and it's just to kind of bring all that out in folks, and we'll get some dialogue going, maybe some chat or something like that down the road, and hopefully there's something here for everybody. Um, I have a lot of interests, um, things that I do to occupy my time. Um, I was a Subaru mechanic for years, and um, picked up a lot of, a lot of information on, on the Subaru product line. Not really so much the new stuff, but the older stuff, uh, through the 80s, early 90s, stuff like that. That's the kind of things that I like the best. But we also, we do some other stuff too. Um, we, we work on all different makes and models of cars. And the idea that I have here is to show, you know, there's a lot of fairly simple things that in today's economic climate, you know, people can do to help themselves. They don't have to run down to the corner garage to have every every little thing taken care of on their vehicles. There's a lot of things that they can do themselves. Um, they don't require a lot of expensive tools. They don't require a lot of, you know, training and so forth. And maybe with a little help from myself and some other folks that will get involved here, we can, uh, you know, help somebody out. So, we're going to start off, um, we've got some Subaru projects going on here. We've got a 1988 um, GL four-wheel drive hatchback that uh, we're working on right now. These are some of the engine components for it right here. Um, coming into this project a little bit late, unfortunately. We've already got the engine pulled out. We've got it taken apart. Um, one of the things that I've been able to do for a long time and had some pretty good success with it is I, I flip a lot of cars. Um, I'll buy a car, you know, relatively inexpensively, um, fix it up, clean it up, you know, sometimes I drive them for a while, sometimes I don't, and uh, I usually am able to, you know, turn those cars and sell them and make a little bit of money. And so I've had a good time, I've amused myself, and in the same, same instance put a couple dollars aside at the end of the, end of the project. And it's a very simple thing that anybody can do, and uh, we'll kind of give you some pointers and tidbits along the way along that type of thing. Um, this particular little Subaru, um, bought it for a few hundred dollars, had a miss in the engine. Um, I believe it's a car that from what I can see has been sitting around for a long time and the piston rings were stuck, if you will, in on the rings in the cylinder. So I had a very poor cylinder seal. Uh, compression was low on all 
On three cylinders, compression was very low. One cylinder was virtually dead. So, probably could have gone the route of, you know, getting some cleaners and so forth, like a sea foam is one, marble mist oil, kerosene. There's a lot of different kind of quick fix things for this. And, you know, you dump it in the cylinders and let it soak, and it works everything free again. But, uh, for me, like I say, I just as soon take it out, take it apart, see what I've got, you know, do what it needs to have done to make it, you know, trustworthy and when I get all done. So that's what I've done. I've taken it out. We've got it apart here. Um, we've got some parts cleaned up. Um, we still have to go out and acquire the necessary gaskets and so forth to put it all back together. But uh, I'll kind of walk you along through me as we, with me as we do this. And um, we'll get this little car put back together and uh, see what we end up with. So it's kind of fun. Like I say, I enjoy it. It's, it's more of a hobby for me. These cars that um, you know, I work on like this, for the most part, I don't use as everyday drivers. Um, they're kind of like play toys for me. Um, but I know that there's a lot of people out there that do drive these cars every day. And there's um, a lot of stuff on them that's fairly common repairs that they need. And you run across from time to time, um, you know, axle repairs, brake repairs, you know, um, drivability issues, that type of thing. Um, so we'll be doing some videos on that type of stuff. Um, in addition to, you know, we're going to do some body work. Uh, we'll do a little bit of paint. Kind of living here in suburbia with just a home garage, it's not really, not really the best place in the world to paint. So we'll have to figure something out there. We'll get around that, but we'll be uh, getting into some stuff. There's a lot of stuff. I'm not an expert. I don't think on anything. Um, some stuff, you know, I, I know a few things, and um, like I say, I just hope that uh, you know you find it interesting and. It's something that we can kind of grow together with. I'm not a real techie guy. So, you know, posting, editing and posting these videos is going to be somewhat of a challenge for me at first. So kind of bear with me and uh, we'll get through it and we'll get, uh, we'll get rolling along and see what we can come up with. 